Welcome everyone. Thanks for logging on today and joining us. I'll start by introducing myself. My name is Alan Locker and I grew up watching As the World Turns and Guiding Light. In 1997, I joined the PR department for both shows and remained working there for 13 years before the shows went off the air. As I was stuck here at home, I realized that I was missing all of uh, my Oakdale family and thought some of you might be feeling the same way. So I invited some of them here today. Shall we get started? Let's uh, introduce the first guest, Martha Byrne. Everybody say hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, Alan. Now I can see Hey, Martha. Hi. Michael Park. Hey. Hi. And Moira West from California. Mojo. Oh, it's great. I love how's this. How's everybody doing? Well, you know. This Best is my home. Right? I, I, I homeschool in the hot tub. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I owe you 20 I bucks. I wish we could do that. Right? We're good. I wish we could do that. This is really great that you're doing this. It's uh, Everybody safe? For the so most far, part. so good. Yep. So far, so Thank good. God. Finding unique ways to keep busy and keep your children entertained, I'm sure. It's week three, Alan. Don't press it. <laughs> <laughs> They're on their own, just like everybody else. Yeah, really. <laughs> I mean, more six has, feet away, six more, feet away. Yeah, more has the, the 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 most children of the age ranges. Uh, so my kids are very self sufficient in a lot of ways. This homeschooling for us has worked really well. They stay in the rooms, which they do all the time anyway. And now they actually just come out for lunch and then go back to their rooms and. <laughs> <laughs> Very, I have to say, my school district has been fantastic about, didn't miss a beat about schooling. And even my my 17 year old's guidance counselor called about his college prep classes for next year. And so I said, I, and I consider myself very, very fortunate that we have, um, that, that our school system has worked very well. I know not that's not the case everywhere. So, you know, look, it's a one day at a time kind of situation, but, um, and I think the kids are holding up really well. I mean, of course they get it. They can't go out now, which is, fine because they can't um but everything other than that my mom lives with me and she's been self-quarantined herself uh she has an apartment on on our property and she hasn't come to our house uh for <laughs> for two weeks but uh, she's healthy and she's great and and you know we're keeping her safe and so we're good we're good the uh, school systems in new jersey have surprised me too i mean i have a friend who has two boys in high school and um everything's online. I mean, they don't even have school books anymore. Right. All their books are digital, which was really surprising. Yeah, we get, we, you know, my husband works from home. He's a home office. He's home a lot of the time. I'm home producing. I oh, hey, everybody. We have another guest. Don Hastings, everybody. Hey. Hey. Whatever happened to him? So good to oh see you. Goodness. Bob, I hope you have some help for us, some tips. Yeah, yeah Dr. Bob. We need Dr. Yeah. Bob right now. Dr. Bob, it's, it's your son, Scotty D. Oh, oh Scotty. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, Scotty, how are you? Hello, Maura. Hi, honey. And then, is, that Michael, is Michael Park going to sing? I hope. <laughs> no, I don't know. Do you, do you want him here? <laughs> yeah, I can leave. I'm leaving. I'm out. <laughs> Hi, Martha. How are you? How are you? I said, I, Ms. Hubbard said she had spoken to you, which made me happy. And Elizabeth sends her best as well. Oh, Loves thank you. Fun. And, um, you know, I, I tried to get her to come today to do this. And she's like, oh, you know, I'm not quite ready for that. So I figured this would be a good test run. And then we could all have Liz come next time or when we do this again. But Don, it's so great to see you. I'm so yeah. glad. It's so good to see Unbelievable. you. Unbelievable. So good to see you, Don. Alive and uh, upright, yes. Uh, yeah. hey. so Enjoying the farm up, up there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are, actually. Uh, things have been uh, kind of quiet, but uh, as everybody is uh, locked up, but uh, I've been locked up for years anyway, so I'm used to it. <laughs> and I'm basically agoraphobic, so it, it actually is no difference for me. Really. <laughs> Where are, I've you? Noticed, I've noticed where are you? I've noticed you, Mara. Where are you? Um, you look like you're at, at some club or something. Is that your <laughs> home? She's at the country club. This is my back. This is my very meager backyard. So wow, it's nothing. Look, it's no club. But how how are all the kids? <laughs> you know, everybody's hanging in there, one foot in front of the other. I have, you know, one college graduate, 
one one college student, one high school senior, one oh, cool. seventh grader, and one fifth grader. Wow. And um, you know, wow. we all do what we can. They're fine. I think this high school senior, you know, she, you, there's no proms, you know, there's no graduation. So I think for certain That's groups, am I, talk, yeah. am I talking too loud? I can't tell. Alan told no. me to wear these. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, there is. Can you, I don't know, she's got my, my technical person just bailed out. <laughs> we so got I'm, you loud and clear. She tried to put the uh, earphones in an electric outlet. I don't know whether that was where it's supposed <laughs> oh, <to go. laughs> Well, I'm so glad she did it. She, yeah. Uh, Alan, you look great, Alan. You, you, uh, thanks, thanks. You're the youngest one in the crowd. Does not change. Uh, Does not no, change. Not true. <laughs> you are the youngest. No, no more. I don't no. know. No numbers. No numbers. Five, three. <laughs> no numbers. No numbers. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. So um, what is everybody, with when you're not teaching, what are you doing to keep busy? Any good shows you want to recommend to people out there that you've been watching? Oh, oh yeah. you got Tom. You got Tom Pelfrey on uh, Ozark. That's killing oh, it right yeah. now. I'm, I'm, you know, yeah. it, he's ridiculously good. So yeah, uh, I've been surprised. watching that, and of course, and of course, Tiger King. Oh yeah. Oh, me too. Oh yes. How me about too. Uh, episode four? How about uh, French? A French Village. Have any of you watched that? No. That is incredible. Wow. There's eight, there's eight seasons, and anybody that we've recommended is to. Yeah, because you have to be able to read. Michael, you're out of this. But, uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, Carry the one. I can, oh, I can choose him because he's one of my favorite, uh, favorite the co-whatever uh, we were. Anyway. anyway uh, what is it on, Don? What, what streaming platform? I think, you, it I think it's now on like Hulu or one of them, but it's, okay. it's uh, in French, and it's uh, it takes place just as the fall of France, and it's in... Uh, Unoccupied France, uh, and then it because I don't know if you know that, but part of France during the war was unoccupied by the Germans, supposedly, but actually they ran it anyway. It was Vichy, and, and this is a town in Vichy that believes that the, uh, you know, that the, the Marshal Pétain will take care of them and everything, and of course the Nazis overrun the town, and and uh, it's a anybody we've recommended it to. We haven't heard from them because they've been streaming it. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. They, it's, I mean, it's six seasons. It's perfect. Oh, it's Tell great. me the name again. A French, French Village. I got it. French Village. Writing it down. Don, have you, have you read the novel All the Light We Cannot See? You know, I haven't. That's about the blind Parisian, uh, right? In the yeah. same time, yeah, in World War II. It's uh, Anthony Doerr is the D-O-O-E-R. It is yeah. just, it's my fit. It's the best novel I've ever read. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, yeah I read all of that. Re have any of you read The Nightingale? Yes, no. I read The Nightingale. Yes. Yeah, no. Great book. They're making it into a movie. Uh, fantastic. Also, okay. World War II. Oh, so that promises to be fantastic, the movie. Like Goldfinch. Ruin that. <laughs> I mean, no judgments. No, no, no. no. Michael, Sorry. how is your family? My family's right. My son is graduating college this year, so that I kind of stinks. Um, yeah, Christopher. yeah, Christopher. Well, he, you know, uh, like all the parks, he's in a five year program. Um, so but he's <laughs> and, no, and it's, it's a co op, <laughs> it's a co op program, it's a co op program, it's supposed to be five years, but uh, he's unfortunately <laughs> this, unfortunately, the ceremony obviously has been canceled, uh, so yeah, it's, it's, gonna yeah. be, it's gonna be it's gonna be online. Um, I've got a 20 year old, my Kathleen is 20 year old. She is home and she's the teacher's assistant. So she's actually getting paid. So that's, um, we're happy about that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then my my daughter Annabelle is now gonna be 16 on Sunday, 16. So oh, yeah, wow. but she's been wanting homeschooling all year. So she's in heaven right now. So who's teaching? Uh, my daughter Kathleen. Oh really? Yeah, developmentally disabled kids. She's working at uh, Rockland Bosey Center. Rockland oh, Bosey. Great, great. So she loves it. She's found her calling, and so we're we're really proud of her. Martha, all your it. kids out of uh, all your kids out of prison, Martha. Yes. I was, uh, <laughs> not Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're good. My son is he's going to uh, graduate December College from Montclair State with a business analytics degree. Great. That's exciting. He's uh, been funny kid. Home. So funny. Oh my god, he's so funny. Um. He's great. So he comes home and, and 
and been kind of commuting for, to school. And my middle guy is going to be a senior in high school, Max. He's doing great. Wow. And Marie's in eighth grade, and she's going to be going to high school next year. Everybody's good. My husband's great. Mike's great. Everybody's healthy, thank God. Well, and, I can't be uh, good. Everybody's good. Everybody's yeah. good. But our little Kate, if you remember her. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, she has three kids. She has uh, she has a seven year old, a five year old, and a one and a half, one and three quarters little girl. So she got two boys and a girl, and they they live in Fairfield, Connecticut. But right now they're uh, uh, thinking of moving to Minnesota, where Peter's from, her husband. Mm -hmm. And they're up there looking at houses, you know, as much as they can with this going on, because they may be moving, maybe by the end of the year. So we'll miss him. Yeah. 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 But I mean, you're a grandfather. I, are, are you kidding? That's I, awesome. A, <laughs> well, I had, you know, in, in my other life, uh, I had a, a grandchild too. She's oh. an actress, by the way, and, and was scheduled to go to uh, paper, not paper mill. Well, she was at paper mill last year, but she had, uh, I think this would be the third time she went up to uh, New Hope. Uh, not, mm -hmm. not New Hope. New Hope, Pennsylvania. Uh, no, uh, the, the one up in Connecticut. Um, oh, you mean Goodspeed? Goodspeed, yeah. She was supposed to do South Pacific up there, but it's been postponed for now. Mm -hmm. oh, that's okay. It's okay to postpone South Pacific. No, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> not my favorite. Wait, wait, but, time out, <laughs> but time out, Goodspeed is a fantastic place yes. to spend the yeah, summer. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. East Haddam, Connecticut, I believe. Yeah, Leslie's been up there a couple of times, and she did a little night music up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. I'm just going to yeah. shout out, by the way, to Alex Rilsvig, who has been texting me and she's watching us. Alex, hi, Alex. Uh, hi, Alex. Hi, hi Alex. Alex, uh, who runs the town of Long Lake, New York. Right. Yeah. Okay. Like, literally <laughs> runs the town. <laughs> how, are you doing, uh, how are you doing with the Native Americans up there? I mean, they're liable to, get, if they what find out she's up there, they'll take her away. <laughs> and and, and we all need to say hello to the fo the Dutch folks in the Netherlands who are also. Oh, oh yes, lucky. Yeah. 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 I can see all the questions course. coming in from the Netherlands. Yes, it's, it's uh, seven o'clock, seven eight o'clock over Great. there. Great, we love our Dutchies. We certainly do. Do we have any questions? What's going on, Alan? What do we do? Let's see. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, Mojo. Michael. Right, oh, Michael. Can, right to it. Candace Mack Manners. is on as well. Manners. Candy Michael Mack Manners. is on. There's Alex's thing. Uh, let's see. I'm going to look at questions. <laughs> Mikey, how do you know my New Hope, Pennsylvania? Somebody says. Uh, I saw a couple concerts in New Hope, actually. Uh, back when we were doing As the World Turns, actually, one of our one of our castmates was dating James Taylor's son, uh, James Taylor's, no, James Taylor's daughter. And we went to go see her in concert. And that's the first and last time I've been to, to New Hope. Beautiful, beautiful, quaint little town. Yeah, gorgeous. Um, somebody commented us talking about everyone's kids made them think about when Maura, Martha, and Kelly were all pregnant at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Maura was first. Spa. You were all in the spa, right? Those were the days, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had such a good time doing that storyline. It was so crazy. Which kids were those? Which year was that, that we all had kids? It was Kate, time? wasn't it? Or was it Joe? Because I it was Kathleen. It was, definitely we were... wasn't Joe. It was either Kate oh. or even Basil. Max and, yeah, it was, so it was 2002. Oh, that's Kate, yeah. So Max was born September 3rd, and I was the last one, the last, um, <laughs> one to be that was so much fun that we had such a good time because there was, was great. like broad comedy and then there's what you know the other end, keep going and we, we were there was really no limit on what we could do because it was so bizarre um and we just laughed all the time you know it was so such a fun story it's what we need right now mm -hmm. what we need right now all that laughter Fun. And, you know, we had such great people to work with in our cast and Mark and Malloy played Dr. Feelgood, whatever his name was. <laughs> <laughs> so, so crazy and the, and the, the funny juice that we were all. Uh, oh, the funny juice. <laughs> I totally forgot. Yeah, the smoke. <laughs> um, I mean, is, that where, is that where Carly came out of it all old? Yes. Like old? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Yeah, you, oh. you weren't happy about that. Well, well I mean, what <laughs> I, woman would be? Right. I mean, was, oh God. Remember yeah, but you look so great out of that makeup, though. <laughs> it, made, it made me look better thing. in reality, so that's why they did it. 
you, know, you really took it for the team. I only had to have a little bit of stuff, you know, because I had the baby last, so I had the least amount of damage to my skin. But Paul still loved Rose. Even yeah, where was Doctor Bob during all that? I just, you know, I can't do anything without getting a note. <laughs> I just got a note from my wife. <laughs> oh. What happened? What did you say? Don't forget, the audience members can listen. <laughs> Some of my remarks, I guess, I have to be uh, uh, expunged from the. Uh, why? <laughs> no, they're brilliant. I, why I you did? I don't know, but you know she's so, she's strange. I I don't know. She's I don't know protecting you. <laughs> she's a good, she's she's a good publicist. She's bossy. Right. I just saw a great. I, she's great right. Quote. <laughs> I, I, I just read a quote that, you know, the, the man who wrote uh, 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 Life in the uh, Time of Cholera or Death in the Time of Cholera. Do you remember that book, Marquez, mm -hmm. the Brazilian? When somebody it's asked love, him about it, it, lo it's love, love in the Time of love Cholera. Love. Right. There was a quote the other day in the paper about him, and it said, uh, I know everything about my wife, and I have no clue about who she really is. And I thought that that fits Leslie very much in my life. <laughs> She's a mystery. Wait a anyway. Wow, you know she can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> Up on the farm. Yeah. Some fans were asking any great memories of Helen. Oh gosh, yeah. Oh, be careful, Martha. I I don't know. <laughs> you too, <laughs> Laura. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I think Don could take this one. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. yeah she yes, was, Don should take this one. She, she was, was she really was, something else. She was old school, like pro. I mean, you know, she came in prepared, completely prepared. She was always professional. You know, her husband Bob was always with her. He came to every taping and and was with her. Um, I, mean, I don't know. I just had such wonderful, wonderful experiences with Helen. You know, um, and again, the history behind her. Her, her career and her legacy of the show, it was legendary. It really was for us coming on, you know, when you came onto the show and I came on in 85, it was, Helen was you know, the, 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 the leader of the whole, th of the whole, of all of Oakdale um, and Eileen and Don and, and Kathy. And so she was, it was, um, what, a, what a legacy, what a career that she had. And, and you know, she was always about the, the character. She really, I think when they when they had her marry uh, uh, Dan um, McCluskey, right? That was the character, you yeah. know. And yeah. I really had a problem with that because she didn't think that Nancy would ever remarry. She felt that oh. uh. this past that she should not have remarried based on her character. And it was a wonderful, beautiful story, obviously that they wrote for for that 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 love story. But that was something that was kind of I feel feel like she had to be kind of convinced that that was. A good choice for the character. Uh, mm -hmm. they did a beautiful job. They both did a beautiful job. Yeah, I love that story. Yeah. Hey, Don, have you spoken to Kathy Hayes? Yeah, Kathy Hayes? Kathy's moved to Illinois, to Princeton, where she grew up. Uh, oh, about six, seven months ago, she sold her house in Connecticut and bought a house out there, and she's doing quite well. Yeah, you know, I, I, uh, we see her because she was over not far from where Kate lived in Fairfield, Connecticut. Kathy was in Bridgeport. And I see uh, uh, Dr. John and I meet about once a month for uh, oh, awesome. a few laughs. Yeah, he's fun. You know, I got to meet those guys. I got them when I was doing, uh, it was long before I was even in Smoky Joe's Cafe. I was doing a show called uh, Good News in, in, uh, no at North Shore Theater, music, music theater. And that was in Boston. And I was with, I was working with Kathy Hayes. And I got to meet, I think you came, Don. Did you not come to see her in that show? Which one was that? Uh, it was good. Good news. Uh, yeah, at, with, at with North Shore. John, yeah, John I met Larry. you, Larry, right? And, Larry and my and, and Leslie and Kate. Who, I think Kate yeah, was with before, us. Yeah. Before I even uh, dreamt of being on a soap opera, I you know I working with with Kathy and then met you guys. It was a little yeah. bit stark, to say the least. <laughs> awesome! Awesome! Yeah. All right. Um, one of the fans says, "Just seeing Don Hastings lowers my stress one hundred percent." I think. Oh. We Thank you. You know he's not a real doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I have a high school education. What do you what more do you need? Don, have you ever had can you tell us one of your stories about playing Dr. Bob and people thinking that you were really a doctor? Like do you have a really classic story about a fan or 
Something oh that- yeah, I had I had uh, in my long career I had two offers to practice medicine. One was from Pennsylvania, and the other one was from Texas. And they said we you know we have no doctor. You're better than you know anybody we can think of right now that would we could afford. And uh, I had to turn them down though. I was too busy. <laughs> <laughs> on a TV show. Right. <laughs> yeah, we, we need a doctor like you right now. Oh. Um, Maura, somebody says, I uh, am at home, General Hospital, and Maura is such an amazing actress. Thank you for enriching the story in every way possible. They're a big General Hospital. Oh, that's great. I didn't, oh. I, you were coming. <laughs> I think my, I have oh, sorry. shitty Wi Fi. <laughs> so I didn't hear the whole thing. I just heard Maura to <clears throat> hospital. I'm like, yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> they say you enrich the stories, and then you say you enrich uh, the story. And having you on there yeah. is, is also a, a it's a it's a you know it's a nice comforting thing. Oh, that's awesome! Thank you. I love it. I'm having fun. You all look so wonderful. People are saying. Maura, Maura is nice. Nice. I was in Mexico. Where is my spirit oh. animal drinking a Corona? <laughs> yeah, I ain't afraid. <laughs> I'm only doing it to support industry and industry, shall I say? Um, we, because we, you know, there people are chucking poor Corona this beer. This is like liquid gold. They'll throw this away. Right. Crazy. <laughs> it's, it's seven o'clock in the in the Netherlands. Have a you know, drink all you want. <laughs> to- toast to them. Toast to them. Do you all remember your first day? <gasps> Oh, do I? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. More I had gasp. <laughs> More gasped. No, I just, I had never been. I mean, I think I had never been on TV. You know, I was a stage actress. I had just come out of school. Um, and I didn't know what the F I was doing. And you guys know, uh, Paul Lammers directed my first day. Remember Paul Lammers? Of course. And, uh, and he was, I mean, he was awesome and wonderful. And um, it didn't take me too long to kind of catch on, but it, it is a, it's different. And Larry Carpenter, who's one of my favorite directors ever on the planet, he is a director at General Hospital. So I love that I get to work with him again. But anyway, he really, um, I think in like one day taught me, like I understood all of a sudden how to do TV. Well, I'm still figuring it out. You know what I mean? But I just mm-hmm. mean, um, he, uh, he helped me like single-handedly. I helped me with that. Larry Carpenter. It was just, I, I was really, really, really nervous. I still get nervous every day going to work, but I was really, really, really nervous. It was just, it was just terrifying, frankly. Still is every day. Martha? <laughs> I, I told this story a million times, um, so I'm sorry if anyone's heard it a thousand times, but I, you know, working with Liz Hubbard on the first day, I, what happened was, they, they, the girl that was playing Mary Lucy Deacons left on a Friday and I came in on a Monday. So I was cast on a Friday afternoon and said, can you come to work on Monday? And I had come from film background where, you know, ch- ch- child actors, you say your lines, you don't, you don't cause problems and you go home. You know, you really aren't part of the process uh, in that world. And it's so important to stick to your lines because they have to edit and, Child actors are, you know, again, it's it's a, a daunting profession. So I was good at that, uh, not great, but I was good at that. And then when I came to work on As Well Turns and I had 15 pages of dialogue with Elizabeth Hubbard, I was so, I didn't know what hit me like a tornado when Liz started changing all the lines and grabbing me and throwing me on the couch and tickling me. What? She was just, I mean, uh, uh, I, I didn't know what to do. And I went to my mother and I said, I'm never going to keep, um, they're going to fire me because I don't know how to work, do this. Thing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. And I say this Liz all the time. If not for her, I, my career would have been over in that moment because she took me out of my comfort zone to a place that I never even knew I could go as an actor. I didn't even know I had it in. I didn't even know what acting was really until I worked with Elizabeth. And obviously we had the 30 year, you know, relationship on camera, 20, whatever, many years, 30 year friendship now. Um, and I knew Brian Bloom who played Dusty before that, cause he was dating out. Woo, I used to watch then boy, Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> you get lost in those eyes. Ah. That song Sorry, was, Martha. did you know that? That's <laughs> 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 
on here. Anyway, so he, I knew Brian from Allison Smith before I even got on the show. So he was great. Like he was very helpful about, and you know, he was such an amazing actor as well. So, you know, it was just a, a, a transition time, but I do remember cause I was so scared and then I couldn't, I, I just, all of a sudden something hit me, probably Liz, um, <laughs> and just shook me out of that place. And, and I'm so grateful for her and I love her so much. And I talk to her almost every day. We see each other, uh, you know, as often as possible. She's amazing. She's doing great. Uh, she's up in Connecticut, and I, I'm I'm so grateful. I think we're closer now than when we work together, which I'm so grateful mm -hmm. for that too. And we're just, um, yeah. So that's what I remember about the first day. And I was so scared again, more, you know, you know, nervous. And I think, and I know for a fact, I almost did get fired because my mother told me that later on that I was on the edge of getting fired by like a skin of my teeth. Wow. Um, and I remember the day that Bob Calhoun pulled my mother aside and said, she's staying. And I heard him say, she's staying. So I didn't even know I was going to get fired. But then I found out, oh, I guess I almost got fired. So, you know, if not for that moment and not for that, you know, but I think Don will, will, will attest to this. What they did was Doug Marlin wrote a storyline where Dusty got hit by a car with the Craig hit and run Dusty. And they gave me a scene by Dusty's bed in a coma. And I guess I nailed it because that's what kept me, kept my job. Like that, they wanted, they tested me to see if I could do it or not, to see if I could really hold my own. And so I'm grateful for Doug, obviously Douglas, my gosh, please, every moment. Um, but you know, you know when you're in a moment of tests and like mm -hmm. it's not going well and something's not right. Uh, and I got, I, I survived, you know, I survived the chop, chopping block. Great. Mm. So, um, and I remember also just another tip. I had the long-term document for Douglas that someone has, was in the office on 57th street. It was like a 60, 70 page treatment that Douglas had written to get on as the world turns. Like it was his long-term for as the world turns that he proposed. Uh, my dog is here. Hello. Rudy. Rudy. Come here, Rudy. Um, and in there, and in the document, it says, I'm not sure if the girl currently playing Lily is going to be pretty enough to do the story, you know, that kind of where Lily was going to go. And he kept me, you know, he, he gave me a shot. And I feel like. Well, because you're gorgeous, number one. So there. Back then it was a little, you know, I was 15. They wanted well, okay. a real love story. And I, you know, they, I, I could see why. But I, I think Doug was very, um, uh, gave people a chance, you know? His one rule was never fire anybody for six months once you start writing a show. Give them some time. The dog, my dog, Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a troublemaker, that Rudy. <laughs> no, he's, he's the best, he can't hear me. Anyway, so I'm, some, I'm, of, some of the fans are asking where Kelly is, and I actually don't know. She was she checked in earlier. She was on here. I hope she's okay. Oh, I'm sure maybe she, she thinks it's maybe she thinks it's two. I know she you know, she's she, an hour behind us time wise. I try. Maybe we confused her. <laughs> I'm not sure, but if not, we'll try and get her to do this another time as well. Don, do you remember your first day? I know it's you <clears throat> so know. many years ago. You know, we, Seven years we had uh, we had wooden <laughs> cameras then. <It> was, <laughs> I remember my first day on World Turns because I, I had been on uh, Edge of Night for the, the first four and a half years that the two shows, you know, they went on the same day, Edge of Night and As the World Turns went on the same day. And I was on Edge of Night for four and a half years. And then I was traded for a, a I think, a left-handed pitcher to, um, <laughs> to As the World Turns. And I did Edge of Night Monday and Tuesday and, and World Turns uh, Thursday and Friday of the same week. And uh, somebody, there were some uh, phone calls made and they, because the part I played was Jack Lane on Edge of Night. And somebody called and says, what is Jack Lane doing in Oakdale? He belongs on Edge of Night. And uh, the other thing I remember was Ted Corday was the executive director of the show and I, my first line was, hiya, Grandpa. And uh, after the dress rehearsal, the note was, if he comes through oh, the door smiling, we're going to have our rating go down. He can't look happy. Well, so that was my first note. So I was sullen for, what, 50 years on As the World Turns. 
incredible. Uh, and Mikey, do you remember yours? I do. I was. Um, Michael, who who screen tested you? Well, you screen tested me the first time, yeah, and the second time it was Kelly Hensley who screen tested me. So the first time I was I was auditioning for Paul Ryan, and I thought we got along great, Maura. I really do. You were I remember you were pregnant with Ben, correct? Pregnant. And so you you were pregnant with Ben, yeah. I think it was crowning. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was. A, yeah, I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> when they told me that you had one, I was like, it was just one. Um, it was beautiful. It was gorgeous, and Ben, and you were beautiful, and you were so nice, and uh, and I remember wow. being really, really nervous, but how fantastic you were in that and and how nervous i was and i had no idea what i was doing but you were so cool to me and uh uh and i well obviously didn't get the job uh but the, then i auditioned well, i'm for, glad uh, i'm glad aren't you glad oh, very I mean, much so yeah yeah in hindsight absolutely yeah. it worked out it totally worked out better and then kelly auditioned uh me and i, I remember not being really into it i'm like well whatever i've been through this one time and i kind of wanted it and i wanted to work with that girl I was working with because she was so nice to me and um uh and then I, I ended up getting the gig the first the first time I'm on set um first time I'm on set it was the day after we had just opened a show called Violet and so I was a little you know it was our opening night party so I was a little you know kind of out of it <laughs> and it was Chris Goutman directing and you know Chris there's there's only one way there's not a lot of margin of you know for error nothing so, I mean, I, I remember had only I had to do is stand in one spot. That's it. I had to walk in and stand and it was a picture of my shoes. And for some reason I couldn't get it right. And I, again, I've just the flop sweat was happening. And um, yeah, I, that's, that's all I remember. And it got better and better after that. Only because, only because Martha Byrne oh, no. was, <laughs> no, you were so, again, guys, I, I, I come from a place of love when I talk about the, the, the the cast that welcomed hey, me on the Mikey, turn. Mikey, what? I'm just gonna interrupt for a minute so we can add Miss Kelly in. There she is. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hi! Hi! Hey, one second. Let me figure out how to do this. Oh I'm so out of my comfort zone with my computer. Hi! You look great. Hey, oh, hi guys. Hi. Hi. Everybody was asking. Kelly Everybody was asking for you. Oh, thanks. Hang on. I'm not going to go on my swing because then I'm going back and forth. Let me go somewhere else where I'm less. Sorry, guys. Michael, let me ask you another question. Karuna asked, what is the most important lesson you have for someone who wants to be an actor? Oh, most important God, lesson I, I have? Yeah. Oh, geez. You know, it costs nothing to be nice. That's what I say. You know, the mm -hmm. the, the people who, who are the opposite of that or the people who, who just are not that much fun to be around and to work with, uh, for one reason or another, I don't have much longevity in this in this business. It gets around, and, yeah. Yeah, it gets around, and I have been again. I was getting to the point where I've been so fortunate to have people like Martha oh, and Don and Dawn, and I Kelly and, <laughs> and 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 Maura when she came in, and I was like, oh, there she is, and she, oh my God, it's just stunning. I it was kind of tongue tied when I met Maura for the second time because she was oh. in tow with Ben in tow with that beautiful boy. Uh, and then, uh, I, I, but suffice it to say, I don't think I would have been the same human being uh, or the same actor I am without uh, the tutelage of the people around me at that time. Hmm. Kelly, do you remember your first day? Everybody was sharing their first day. Uh, God, uh, vaguely. Um, yes, I remember, um, I remember being forced to wear a bathing suit, which I hated. <laughs> and I remember, and I remember saying, "I'm not." And it was my first. No, that was my second day. The second day, I was in a bathing suit. I do remember saying to the cameraman, "I don't like where that camera is right now. Can we start that somewhere else on my second day?" Because I think it was like on a part of my body that I wasn't thrilled with. Um, I remember um, Pat. And um, and uh, what's his uh, what's his bucket? Uh, God help me, Duncan. Michael, Michael Swain. Oh. 
Who, you can make it me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember too. I remember Pat. Yes, I remember Pat Tovat. I remember Pat Tovat and uh, and uh, the other Yahoo. Michael Swan. Uh, Michael they were really good to me. Um, actually invited me to a Michael Swan. Yeah, yeah. the other Yahoo invited me to a drink across the the studio. Martha, what bar is it? Oh, Kennedy's. Kennedy's. Bar. No, it was Kennedy's we went to. No, Armstrong. No. Armstrong's, totally right. Armstrong's, and I'm like, oh my god! I like, just went to take five. Guys are asking me out. This is yeah, weird. Anyway, it's still there. They were, yeah. they were awesome. It's still yeah, there. I still have that script. I I kept my first script. Oh, that's I, awesome. I haven't looked at it in a long time. Don Hastings, I'm so happy to see your face. I can't uh, even tell you. I'm happy to see you too, Kelly. My God, you look so it's been 10 well. Years. <laughs> it yeah, been 10 years. You, you, speaking of yeah. not aging, Don, you look exactly the same. Yeah. Well, actually, it's exactly the eight, same. Eight by 10, yeah. I'm holding up in front of my face. <laughs> oh, my God. You look, it's because you married a younger woman. I th You're absolutely right. You're absolutely I know. right. She's I okay. She turned out okay. You know, I had to teach her a lot. You know. Oh God. She Warms gives my heart. Every night. <clears throat> Kelly, have you talked to Marie Masters? I have not. I'm gonna have to I do this because I can't think. Uh, did, did you try to get a hold of her, Alan? Marie? No, not not this time. I, yeah. You know, but I will try. Try to. I do have it. not. Martha, have you? No. No. I don't have anybody. Mm -hmm. No, you know, person. I'm thinking who would be connected to her to find. I mean, we can always listen. We can always find people. My my husband's a private <laughs> investigator. I'll reach out to her. <laughs> we can we, find we her. Can I know. I, I, no, I'll reach out to her. I've tried to use my like old cast sheet that I still have. Um, <laughs> like when a couple hey, years ago, the hey, Mets were what, what the Mets in the World Series are close to being in the World Series. I don't even know. Are they still a team? The Mets? I don't know. But um, I remember. <laughs> uh oh, and, But I remember texting Ellen, uh, Alan Anton, who was a huge Mets fan, and someone texted me back. They're like, I, I don't know who you are, but I hope you I hope you're rooting for the Mets. <laughs> so like, the, none of my numbers work is what I'm getting at. So mm -hmm. I don't think I could. I've heard from Ellen Anton, so I can forward you hers. Okay, good. So we have a question from Lynn. Any coworkers that you've had, you surprised by what they are doing now? And they named a few: Ming Na, Jason Biggs, Lauren Hill. Anybody you know, really Ming surprised Ma was you? Ming Na uh, was in the New York Times puzzle the other day. In the cross. Oh my God, that's fun. Yeah. She made it. Yeah. <laughs> She's doing all right. That's great. Oh, oh wow. I remember, I remember Jason Biggs when he first came on the show, and he was always a good. You know, I feel like. The one consistent thing that with all the people that have kind of moved into prime time or, you know, feature film, whatever, someone, Julianne, you know, even Julianne Moore from day one, it was a talented actress. You know, you just saw that talent, you know, um, and she's always been so appreciative of her, you know, roots at, in, in the soap world. And me, not the same way. I mean, so many people, um, you know, I've seen, I've kept in touch with Jason Biggs, and, but it's always nice to see people working, you know, to see where they've gone on to, to be successful. Remind me, was was he a Snyder? I know he was he was on the farm, right? He, he was he was Julie's um son. He was remember Gosh. Aaron and Julie? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So he was Julie's son. He was only there for a very short period of time on the show. And then, you know, obviously went off to do some major marketing in television and everything else. But he was a great kid, you know, another another um, Nancy stays in touch with him. Leave yeah. That's right. Uh, some fans were asking if anyone's spoken to Scott or Ellen. I, I speak to Ellen on Facebook. Anybody? I've talked, I've, I've texted back and forth with Scott every now and then. Yeah. Scott Holroyd? Time, Scott Holmes. And Scott Holroyd. Scott Holroyd. Scott Holroyd. Scott Holroyd. <laughs> Scott Holroyd. Scott Holroyd I see all the time, actually. Oh, you do? Oh, I love that. Yeah. Michael, where is Scott? Do you know? Scott Holmes? Yeah. I believe he's in South, South Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. South Carolina. Oh, really? Yeah. Where Happy. after he went to school? Wow. Yeah, he loves it down there. His his goal Happy. was to get down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Absolutely wow. happy. I love that. Scott Holroyd is in LA. Yeah. And he's got he's produced his films. He's doing really well. Very yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing that. he's doing oh, great. Scott Holroyd? Oh, please yeah, say hello. I saw him at the, please say hello. I, saw him at the, I will. I just saw him at the set. We have, we have a good um, question from Pietro. Soaps connected generations of families that watched them together and created common ground for them to discuss. Do you think any other content today connects generations of families like soaps did? 
Well, it depends yeah. on how long they're on the air, I would imagine. Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, uh, with Walking Dead's getting close. I'm sure I'm sure Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> I'm sure Grey's Anatomy oh, has my, done the same I, thing. Grey's That's, Anatomy, definitely. Yeah, it's Every been on for 17 my, years, oh, isn't it? But it's not about longevity, right? It's about what, I, of course, it has to be if it's going to connect generations. Mm -hmm. But yeah. but I think it's more about what that content is. Like Walking Dead, even though it's not a long time, I, I mean, you're going to watch that with yeah. your kindergartner? You know, no, you're no. not. No, you're not. So, but you're like, I was just, your, I, I think. But you're, uh, you're going to watch it with your teenager for sure. And oh my God, gonna, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And Grey's Anatomy, though, a lot of those, a lot of those stories, and This Is Us, those kind of stories, they're, they, you know, you've yeah. uh, even, yes. you know, th those kind of stories link generations totally. together. But they're very Somebody, few. Alan, that's a great question because I, I think there are very few shows these days correct. that are do, do family so shows correct. that deal with with uh, yeah. really tough, um, really tough uh, subjects. Yeah, there's, well, there's, 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 yeah, like, there's, there's a very few. When we were coming up, we watched Little House on the Prairie. Remember, you mm -hmm. could watch that with your whole family. There were lessons, family lessons, Mash. lessons about everything. Mm -hmm. uh, Mash. Who's, oh, I loved that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. I don't know. what what's our? Do we have a Little House on the Prairie now? And, well, I mean, What's, Hallmark, you know, Hallmark does a lot of those shows, I think are very family friendly. And I feel like they have that feel good, you know, kind of, um, you know, okay, but I, you know, I think Stranger Things, I know Michael, who's on Stranger Things, the defense. Yay! Woo! Yay! The best. But I think Stranger Things is a show that everybody in the family could watch. Yeah, that was, that's a good one. Do. Yeah, that, that is good. That's so a good refreshing one. Refreshing to have something and it's almost impossible for us, like right now, we're all stuck in the house and we're watching Ozark and my daughter who's 13 goes, can I watch that? We're like, no. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really, yeah that's you, my problem. Watch together in our living room where we, what, what else did we watch together? Um, you know, very few things. I mean, we watched um, uh, Parasite, which was an amazing movie. And at the end it gets a little gory, but it is kind of, you know, your kids are in teenage, but show wise. But again, Michael, you have to read. And I don't, it might not be for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring the joke. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. There's nothing like. What happened, Don? See what you did? Yeah. Don, what Don started, I started that joke. Started, started with Don. That joke. Ended with Mora. <laughs> <laughs> somebody somebody, somebody wrote. Somebody wrote, I still miss the Snyder Farm kitchen <sighs> and everyone eavesdropping at the window. <laughs> and by the oh, stairs, yeah. and by the stairs, that door, that rickety door. That door, you know, yeah. You see, yeah. Crack the door. That door I, I miss it too a lot. And Carly lived there when it, Carly first came. Oh. oh, she's glitching. What? Sorry. Yeah. I was just um, going to say that the Snyder Farm, I have, um, oh, I use their the china from the Snyder Farm kitchen every day. I have the teapot and teacups and plates and bowls. That's like all we use. That's like my kitchen and stuff. So when the show the show ended, I said, I want those dishes. Because <laughs> it's just, and I, I always, I love it. I love, it makes me feel so happy. So every day I think of you all and our history together. <laughs> That's great. Jasmine. You also have you also have a blueprint, don't you? Have a blueprint of what, well, like uh, the Milltown and, and the blueprint of Studio what? One or two? It was Studio, studio Two. And it was uh, it was a day that Milltown Living Room was on it, but also the quicksand is on it. <laughs> <laughs> that damn that damn quicksand. Oh! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> did you all take something when the show ended? Did you all do you all have certain oh, yeah. memories? Oh, even? Look, here it is. <clears throat> hey. Thanks, Scotty. Oh, yeah. oh, I, oh. Love it. I have my hot prop guy, Scott. <laughs> <the greatest guy. laughs> That is great. One of the fans, Jasmine, was asking, "Do you have any funny behind the scenes?" I'm sure, guys, it's got to be great bloopers. No, none. none. <laughs> <laughs> you know oh the the, jo the joke about me not being able to read may be true. <laughs> if you were to go back and watch some of those Christmas bloopers, the uh, bloopers that uh, that Alice Rolsvig used to put together. So I mean, yeah, I could barely put oh, two words good. together. You guys were all very patient with me. We love you. You're the best. You're the and you're love a you. fantastic actor. So what if you need 18 what? takes, Michael? <laughs> That's me. Five take part. Five take. Part. That's a good day. I'd say all of That's you pretty day. much cracked cracked everybody you worked with up. All of oh you. Oh my god. Mr. Oh Mr. Hastings. Don 
Oh, Don, if Don and Larry were in a scene with you, okay? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> you were the audience and they were the entertainers. And yes. the two, you and Larry, Don and Larry together were, were hysterical. Um, Michael, if Michael was in a scene where he had to be very serious, I could not. It was It's so hard for me because I love Michael like my brother. And we laugh more than we cry together, thank God. And to be in a scene together where we had to be serious was just difficult because we laughed. We, you know, I think people need to know that we laughed so much together. It was a constant comedy routine. You know, as soon as you got on the set, it was like the crew it was like, oh, here yeah. they come. let's go. What are they going to entertain us with today? I think, unless you asked them and maybe they were like, you know, dreading our uh, appearance, but I don't think so. Um, <laughs> It was so, so much fun. We laughed so much. And I, I miss that the most. I miss that side of the job the most is the laughing. <laughs> the ridiculous that went Wait a minute. I remember, I remember a scene with Benjamin. I swear to God, it, I think of it so often. And I will just burst out laughing. And the scene started out over at him. We're getting ready to roll tape. And I look over and he's got pants on like this, like floods. And I go, are you going to wear those pants? And he goes, what's wrong with my pants? I go, I got their floods. They're like four inches too short. And then I couldn't even, just couldn't look at him. And then, and then he just started laughing and laughing. And then for some reason, the, 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 the word was Guzman. And it, there was some character named Guzman. In the Guzman. Scene. Yeah. Every time he would say it in that scene, Guzman, I couldn't, and Guzman. literally it was to scoutment to expel from the and collect myself because we couldn't get through it. I was like, <laughs> I had such a gash on the inside of my cheek from just biting my lip and not looking at him, and I had to leave. And then we were probably pushed out to the end of the day because that was our, you know, we all, get we punished, got in trouble. Ben. Get punished. So, some of the fans were asking, you should all share a Benji story. Oh. Because oh. he, he oh. certainly made everybody laugh. Oh. oh, I can I can tell a good story. Oh, God. I can tell a good story that today, if it happened, they probably send in the Marines. Um, there was a, a, a back in the day, oh, I love that. 57. God. Okay. We it was 1980 in the eighties. I don't, maybe, maybe like late eighties when Benjamin, Benjamin and Scott Holmes were best friends. I mean, they traveled, they were the best friends. Funny as, it's very, very, very funny. Mm. And then somebody, dared Benjamin to walk into the makeup room in his underwear and cowboy boots only. Scott <laughs> 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 Holmes, who dared him to do it. <laughs> I was in the makeup room when it happened. Benjamin walked in, just <laughs> did a full circle of the makeup room and walked out. And I mean, that kind of, he with no, not even a moment of like, I'm doing something funny. It was all serious, looked around, and then just walked out of, out of the makeup room. And oh my gosh, I mean, I don't, I don't hope Kathy Hayes wasn't there at that time. Or I, 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 I'm sure he did a, you know, a sweep of the room to make sure it was okay. Right, he might have enjoyed right. it. Yeah, and he wasn't, he wasn't wearing boxer shorts. You know what no. I mean? I, you know, tidy whities I mean, that was kind of Helen Wagner every day. Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I spent a lot of time like this in the room when she was there. <laughs> uh -huh. Trying to be respectful. The theater, darling. That's how they do it. That, that is great. We yeah. have a question. If, if, if you uh, could choose another character of all the years that you were on World Turns to play <laughs> other than yours, is there one you would choose? Ooh. It's tough. I don't know. No. Wow. I mean, there was some fun, fun day, you know, like little arcs that were fun, like as an actor, you know, to kind of think back now. And I, don't know. I think where I am now, like at my, like where I am now in my life, it would be Lucinda. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. I, yeah. I, I would love that. <laughs> but, you know, back then, I think it would have been when I was started, it would have been Lily. Of course, every, what, what young woman didn't want to play Lily? Thank you. You know, I'm a very lucky girl. I'm a very lucky girl. Well, you earned it. You know, luck has something to do with it, but mostly it's you. Thank you. Thank you. It's fun to watch some of the people posting some old clips yesterday, and of, like in the '80s, and 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 I think, wow, yeah, it's it's pretty mind blowing 
to see your history on, you know, it's just amazing. And I, again, I'm always so grateful for it anyway, but then to see those clips, those old clips of story and like episodes and the writing, it's just, we're very, very fortunate. I mean, I really feel so fortunate that I was able to do that. <clears throat> and as a high school student to be able to like do that and be involved in something so monumental in the industry, the soap industry, the soap world. And uh, I, I'm, I'm humbled by it looking back. Uh, it's, it's pretty, we really had, and Adon could say this too, because you know, back in the in the eighties, in the early eighties, mid eighties, there was this this heyday of of uh, frenzy around soap operas. You know, to be a part of that. And we talked to Ken Schreiner, who is the icon of, you know, uh, the General Hospital days of living through that that, that, that and you Don as well. There was nothing more that people loved than a soap opera back in those days. Um, so to be part of that. Don, weren't you traipsing all over Greece and Italy with the show? No, uh, Kathy went to uh, Greece. Greece, and you. We went to uh, yeah, we went to Venice. Kathy and I, and and uh, Julianne, Julian. and um, oh, uh, Charlie Chiaffi was the villain in that. A very good actor. Um, uh, he was with us, and uh, and uh, I God, I can't think of his name. Uh, John Wesley Ship. No, he uh, wasn't he. The, no, that was that? another story. That was it. That was uh, another story. That was eighty five, eighty six. Yeah, we 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 shot in London too. We were supposed to shoot in Paris too, but uh, a cafe had been blown up, oh. and since, uh, they were out of wine. I didn't want to go there, so they canceled <laughs> the Paris part. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, by the time I got there, we were taping in the vestibule. Yeah. <laughs> You were taping in New Jersey. Mark, somebody was asking, who did who did you like playing better, Rose or Lily? Well, I mean, Lily, I, I, of course. That's just uh, she's such the base of the whole, you know. But I love Rose, of course, because what a fun character to play, which is loosely based on myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> loosely, <laughs> loosely, yeah. but. Yeah, again, grateful to play her. I don't know. It, it, it brought such a fun as an actor to have something new to play and dig into. But yeah, you know, I brought this up before. Like, if social media was around back then, the story probably would have died on the vine because we had a lot of growing pains with that story and figuring it out. And at the time, you work every day, so you could work out a character every day. Um, but the, but we had such a fun. Everybody was on board in in the sense of the story. A lot of people involved. We you know we we had the big. Atlantic City dancing, and like I had to dance in glass heels and a headdress and a thong <laughs> and wig. Yeah, you know, and I love that. I thought that was just, I love a challenge. I think every actor wants a challenge. And Lily, you know, obviously had, had kind of done so many stories, it was time for something new. So I was very grateful. I mean, Rose is a great character, fun character, kind of the mirror to everybody in the town to kind of call people out on stuff. And I got to work with people I never worked with before. I never worked with Maura on, and, and, and Kelly and Colleen and, and just a whole other group of people on the show that I never got to work with before. So that was great. So much fun. Kelly, and it was awesome. Fans. And and don't forget she what that she has a lead actress Emmy for for that for that uh, story. That. Yes oh, she does. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly Kelly okay. someone earlier was reminding about when all three of you were pregnant at the same time. Yeah. Which baby did you have at that time? Do I don't remember? I don't even remember. Must be Spencer. M Martha? Uh, must be Spencer. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I think we were hide was I hiding Spencer? No, I was pregnant with him on the I can't remember. Maybe it was Spencer, I'm assuming. I believe I believe they were I'm telling you they were uh, Max and yeah. Spencer. Because oh, do we all do we all hear? Well, Max Max is is going to be eighteen in September, so does that make sense? Oh, that's Spencer. Yeah, Spencer just turned eighteen. Yeah. Oh God, that was Maura a long froze. time ago. More is frozen. Frozen. Maura's frozen. There, there she is. is. She's back. She's back. She's back. Yeah, that was fun. She's back. Uh, Maura, Maura, somebody says if Michael came to GH, he would throw down with Ava. 
What does throw down mean? I don't know. What, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. No, no. I mean, look, look. It, it, of course, I mean, yes, he would. Whatever throw down means, he would do that and more. Mm-hmm. That's all I, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, they say, I've said it a thousand times. I'll say it a thousand more. Um, Michael's an incredible actor and a great scene partner and, a, and and one of the best human beings on any set ever anywhere in the world. Oh. So who wouldn't, who wouldn't want him on their uh. set? It's a fact. I would, I would love it. It would be fan. It would be a really. Oh, she's gone. Oh, yeah, no. she's back. Oh, no, she's back. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, I know. Wait, I switched oh, places. Yeah, you did. You, Great. you moved. <laughs> hey, Don. Oh, yeah. Somebody said, Don. Somebody said Bob and Kim searching for Sabrina was in my oh, top five, so good. five all-time favorite storylines. That was a good one. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, that was a good one. That was. Uh, uh, um, Douglas's uh, don't what is it? Don't look now. Is that the name of the movie? Uh, the uh, with a it's shot in Venice with. Um, All right. And uh, they, they see a child. They, in the in the beginning of the movie, a child is drowned, and then all of a sudden, there's this phantom child that they they keep seeing in in the distance. I think it's called Don't Look Now. Oh wow! Oh, well, that that was somebody fun. was asking, "What's your what kind of puppy do you have? What kind of dog?" Martha, what kind of dog somebody was at? Oh, yeah, yeah, what? I, I blocked that out because he's so bad. Um, <laughs> he, he, he's, he's three. He's a Aww. from, um, I got him from North Shore Animal League on Long Island. I They said he was three months old. They found out he was six months old. So we don't really, like, they didn't know how old he was, but he's great. He's a lab. Mm-hmm. He's, that uh, sounds like a soap opera story. He's amazing. <laughs> A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Uh, he is also an escape artist, and he got loose yesterday and went for an adventure. Um, he's great, such a good job. Like he's he's the worst quarantined member of the family. <laughs> quarantine member of the family, but you know, I had a moment like about two years ago, and I said, I really, you know, why do we need a dog? And I got in the car with the kids and went. To- oh, I love it. He's um he's such a sweet sweetheart, but he is funny. He, he is. You know what I love about him? I love I love his pink nose. Oh, yeah. you don't see a lot of dogs with a pink with a you know he's got like a pink nose, not a black nose. Yeah. He's so cute. I love him until he tries to dig, <laughs> dig under the fence like he did last week and chase the other French bulldog around the neighborhood. <laughs> no, no. His nose was black, and the rest of him was black from digging under the fence, but. Um, it's like Marley. And- of course, this is your dog. I mean, of course. Really, I'm. I'm not surprised. Well, he's great. Hey, he's, he's- Maura, it, Maura, if Scotty's still around, somebody's saying, "Please show us Scott DeFreitas." Oh, oh I love the it. beautiful man. <laughs> <laughs> he disappeared. Well, I'll text them. I'll text them. Maybe he'll come out. He's letting you drown out there. Hey, Maura, could you send some of that weather to uh, the East Coast, please? Because it is. Awful. It's been really shitty here. I have to Is tell it? you, and it's going to oh, start please. raining. It's going to really? start. It's going to start raining again all week. So enjoy yourself. So I'm going to enjoy this. It's sunny it here. Nice where Kel- yeah, Kelly. It looks yeah, pretty nice where you beautiful. are. Where are you, Kelly? I'm in Chicago, and it's uh, a high of 63. But the okay. sun is shining. I'm just outside right. 24/7 when the sun's shining. I'm yeah, Ke- yeah like it's not Kelly- hot here. Kelly, I mean, Brad says you. one one of uh, their favorite stories was Emily and Rice. Any good stories? Oh. Wait, before she answers that, I have this. I have this answer to the Scott. D, where is Scotty D? Oh, people wanted to see Scotty's uh, face. Get in, baby. Get in there with her. Get he's in. Like, <laughs> he's like, are you kidding me? It's a hundred and two. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Yay! Yay! Hey, Scotty. God. So good. Oh, uh, that's so nice. How great. <laughs> so good to- <laughs> Beautiful man. I mean, good I would like you. to say I, I did, I did, uh, Alan, as you know, I did say, boy, someone should reach out to John because I think everybody would really like have, you know, yeah. to, but very John Hensley, I'll, I think I'll he probably again. said no. <laughs> I'll try again. Yeah. Yeah. We've, uh, we've definitely kept the peace. I think we, more than most people uh, rose above uh, being apart and moving on in our lives. But uh, I think he really would have enjoyed this. Well, 
I, I know the fans are, I'm reading all these things. So <laughs> they're all really happy we did this. So yeah. I want to thank you all very, very much for uh, doing this so, so quickly good. too. Thank so you for getting to us speak. together, Alan. Yeah. Absolutely. Get, it was great it, talking to your wife too, Don. It was great talking to Leslie. I just want to say one thing. Um, for as much as Benji Hendy, go ahead. Who? For as much as um, I mean, I love talking about the show and the characters and our storylines. But for I mean, and I know for all of us, uh, I, I cry. I could cry just seeing your faces, and and I just think back to you know, being so young when we all started and I never took any of that for granted. And to me, that is like, that's what I walk away with. I just miss you. I like, I miss the smell of you, Don Hastings. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and I used to say, you, you remind me so much of my father and you're like, that's what I, that's what I miss. It was uh, just, it was a gift. It was just a gift. Yeah. Big virtual yeah. hug to everybody. Big yeah. virtual hug. Me too. Me too. Me bye too. Bye. Love, love you guys. all. Love you all. Love you Thank guys. you so love, much. Love, love. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll do this again soon. For sure. Bye. Yeah, I'd love that. I'd Be love awesome. that. Bye everybody. Talk to you guys. Bye. Soon. Bye. 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 Cheers. Oh, that was great. Bye. There are my. Love people. you. That was amazing. Thank you so bye. much. Bye. Oh, that was amazing. Guys.